We all know that cruising boats are full of gear, and this show is just about that. Here on Prism Reviews, the crew from Sailing Vessel Prism share with you how these products perform and if they are really up to the task. Welcome to the first of many Prism Reviews. Today we're reviewing the Mantis S2 Swivel. Before we start, I'd like to add that Mantis did not pay us to do this review, so this is hopefully coming as unbiased as possible. They did send us a unit to test, but other than that, we have no other affiliation with Mantis thus far. And before we go any further, you might be asking, why are we on the bow underway? And why are we sailing? Well, there's no wind today, so we're doing the 60 mile motor to the Rio Doce area in Costa Rica. And uh, it's no better time to do this review because we anchor every single night. We generally don't have the actual swivel at our fingertips. It's usually on the bottom. So this is the best time I found to pretty much do this review. Just to start off with, uh, the idea of the swivel, if you don't know already, uh, is to isolate the chain twist from the anchor itself. The longer you anchor out, the more the boat's gonna turn on the uh, anchor, whether from current or wind. And the more that happens, the more twist goes into the chain if you don't have a swivel. And it can be quite detrimental over a amount of time. We only get about three or four weeks before we have to take the chain off the anchor, tie up the anchor up here, and let all the chain out in over 300 feet because we have 300 feet of chain, and let all that spin come out of it. Now that's kind of a pain in the ass, and I really don't like doing it. Uh, not to mention, it puts a lot of load on the windlass. Uh, if you don't know if you, if you have twist in your chain and you've been cruising forever, you might say, I don't have that issue at all. Well, you might not have that issue. And if your boat doesn't spin a lot, or if you're in an area that has heavy trade winds where your boat generally stays in one direction all night, uh, you might not have this issue. But in Central America, where there's a lot of current and not a lot of wind, uh, the boat tends to just spin all night with the changing currents. So a swivel is pretty important. Uh, we also learned that a swivel is important up in the Pacific Northwest. So far, we've been using the swivel for over a month. And I have to say, it does take the twist out of the chain. We notice that because usually about every month, the, the chain gets so twisted that it has a hard time going over the gypsy and it'll skip. And that's a really good sign, either your gypsy's going or the gypsy's worn out or your chain's too twisted. And a lot of people probably prematurely change out their gypsies, but they actually have just too much twist in their chain. So if you have a skipping gypsy, Take a look at your chain and you might notice that there's a fair amount of twist in it. The swivel is made of cast stainless. And if you want a full diagram of how this swivel is designed, I recommend going to Mantis's website, which you'll see the link below. There you can see a detailed diagram of how it's designed and why it's so robust. Uh, I have up here as well another swivel made by Suncor that we bought up for the Pacific Northwest. There's not a lot of wind, kind of like Central America and uh, you spin all night and before you know it there's so much there's so much twist in your chain that the windlass skips and even worse the anchor will stop setting correctly because there will be so much memory in the chain that if the anchor sits on the ground the wrong way it won't have enough pressure to bite into the seabed but if you can see on the sun core i have this big heavy duty 5 8 inch shackle on the front of it because the sun cores the uh, mouth wasn't deep enough to fit our shank from our spade anchor. So I had to retrofit the design by putting this mo monster shackle on the front of it. The problem when you do that to these swivels is this swivel is designed to have multiple rotations so it can't bind, that's the idea. But when you have to put one of these big shackles on it, the shackle can bind in it. And when the shackle binds in it, especially with the big heavy anchor on the front of it, you're putting a tremendous amount of stress and load on these little pins. The nice thing about the Mantis swivel is it doesn't require that shackle because the shackle's designed into the swivel itself, which basically eliminates that whole fear. And also, it's not relying on any pins. It's the only pin that ha it has is this monster, uh, I think half inch or maybe even five eighths shackle on the front of it. But it's all rotating in its cast stainless body so there's no pins to rely on other than the pin that holds the chain on through the body, but that pin is also monstrous, like 3 8 inch, versus maybe the quarter inch pin that's on this one. So we got rid of this moment we got out of the Pacific Northwest, 
and we've just been running a, a normal shackle to the front of our chain. So we welcome the idea of testing out the swivel for Mantis. And to be honest, I, I feel pretty nervous putting anything between our really reliable chain and our really reliable anchor, especially something that's made out of stainless. So fast forward, we've been using this for a month, and I have to say the build quality of the Mantis swivel is quite high. It weighs about five or six pounds by itself. I'm really concerned about if it works or not, and if I feel safe with it. And I have to say, it does work. Uh, since we've been using this, the anchor chain has really no twist left into it, which is nice. Not only does it make the anchor set because of less twisted chain, but I believe too that because the swivel weighs so much, it puts a lot more weight on this fulcrum right here on the end of the shank, which also helps penetration on, on the sea bottom. So another plus to having a heavier swivel or a heavier, heavier shackle right here. Last but not least, the swivel looks good it, and it looks like it's going to last a long time. It's serviceable and from what I can tell, hopefully you don't have to get into it very often, but the way you actually get into it is there's seizing wire holding on the rotating cap that makes sleeves around the whole thing that keeps the whole thing together. Uh, so in order to get into it, you do have to undo the seizing wire. But seizing wire is like any shackle, you should have it on it in the first place. Closing thoughts, I think that a swivel that costs only 80 bucks to keep you from having to unhook your chain every other week when you're cruising full time is well worth the money. This swivel seems like it's gonna last and it's good for a blow. This is the S2 version. There's a version smaller than this for smaller loads. Uh, we have 5 16 chain, which the S1 could fit and uh, the people at Mantis did recommend the S1 for us, but I like being heavier than, I, I think heavier is better. So I, I asked for the S2, which does fit 5 16 chain, and I'm glad I did. I mean, just the peace of mind of having the extra weight. This thing has, I think, double the, the weight brake test as my chain does. So hopefully we never have to see conditions like that. But Everything just seems overbuilt on it compared to a similar made swivel uh, by a reputable company. We have a lot of products thought out for the future, but the swivel was one of the first ones we'd like to get out online as soon as possible because it does make a big difference to our cruising lifestyle. If you'd like more information about the Mantis Swivel, go to their website. And if you have other products that you want us to review, Drop us a line and we will do our best to review them as fast as possible. I hope you enjoyed this review and like always, fair winds and following seas.